people have been announcing a sex strike, which is interesting to me. Suddenly, people are saying we're going to withhold sex as a response to Roe v. Wade being reversed. Women, spelled with an X by this Twitter user, calling for a national hashtag sex strike. No sex with men until women's rights are codified by law. Hit that like button. That's how you pay your school tuition. Keep in mind that we don't cater to any groups, gangs, communities, or religions. We cater to the truth. We cater to common sense. And we do not complicate that, guys. All right? So now, listen, guys. We got Candace Owens back in the house, you know, doing her thing, one and twos. And she mentioned something in the intro about sexless marriage or sexless relationships. Guys, man. Fellas, don't 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 let that don't let that bother you guys. It's it's two types of, of women in this war right here. You got you know you got your liber you got your liberal white women and then you got your fake feminist black women. But this is something that you ain't gotta worry about. You can't black women can't hold no man, listen. Now I don't know what the little ugly white girls is doing, but black women, even the ugliest black women can't deny no sex for that long. They can't do no sex strike. You know what I mean? And um before we go any further, guys, let me put you on to what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, apparently, 15% of married couples haven't had sex in the last year. Is that all? <laughs> Sorry. I was going to ask Just if you're... Just thinking out loud. If you're sh- Keep in mind, guys, look at the panel. Look at the panel. Look what you see. I was kind of waiting to hear what the audience thought of it, and there was a kind of an embarrassed pause. <laughs> an embarrassed, ooh. So did you don't think that's... Did you say 50%? 15. 15, so yeah. Do you know what makes me laugh? Is it it's like... Yes. <laughs> now, that's quite sad, thinking that you got 15% that ain't getting none. You got 30% that's paying child support for kids that ain't theirs. So they ain't getting none and they paying for something that ain't the <laughs> God damn, B. You can't win for winning being a man. You know, a lot no, about no. your sex life recently. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't. It'd be like a tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, what makes me laugh is we're like scared. It's like, sort of like, can we survive a marriage without sex? And I kind of feel like, why is there so much pressure on a marriage to be all, of, all sexual? And that makes such a massive difference. I think for some people it does, but also equally for others, it doesn't make much difference. And there are couples that- It makes a lot of difference, guys. Y'all gotta understand, men show their love. We show our love for our female by touching on her, by humping on her, you know what I mean? By loving her, you know what I mean? By loving her, that's how we show our affection towards a woman, not by simping, you know what I mean? Society done made it to that y'all, y'all here giving y'all whole bread, y'all giving y'all whole bread away, your bread loaf away, when y'all only supposed to be giving away crumbs to these hoes, but, you know what I mean? In actuality, in the real world, in the real world, you know what I mean? The biblical world, you know what I mean? Because that is the real world. The biblical world is the real world. It, it, it ain't about that, guys. It's about your affection. Your affection is love. We, we feel love with with our physical and sex. Women, they feel love. They, they, they give love by talking. They, they give love by talking, by expressing their feelings, you know what I mean? Verbally, we are more physical, you know what I mean? Same thing, like women, they gotta connect with us, right? They gotta connect with us mentally before they bust it open for us. 
Whereas we really don't know what it is going to be until we smash. Once we smash, then our brains start to kick into like, I right, am I going to keep or am I not? You know what I mean? And that's how that works. So sex is very important in a healthy relationship. Y'all get with these women that didn't want to be with y'all to begin with, so they wanted to do the least. And you know what I mean? Sex is the least, bro. Like, And if they don't want to do that, then it's like, sheesh, bro, stop providing. That enjoy not having sex or just mutually being together and it not being a big deal in their lives. So why yeah. do we care so it's much? It's like a sexless relationship is called for bad, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fail, you know, which yeah. is... And the things, you know, well, we've said, you know, who who's the person who would, wouldn't mind if their uh, partner went elsewhere? Well, I mean, I would, would be understand. very upset if he went elsewhere. But, you know, marriage is... Well, I'm not even married, am I? No, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Long term, I haven't had sex in the... Now, that's crazy, yo. You see how my white breads, they can sit there and have a nice, long, drawn conversation, laughing, you know what I mean? Cut the man wings and, like, fly. He can't fly. <laughs> and laugh about it and shit. Crazy. But our sisters, not our sisters. Y'all ain't got to worry about that, fellas. Now, let's show you, let, me, let me show you how our sisters, why, why y'all ain't got to worry about it. Because our sisters, this is what they doing right now. This is what our sisters want to do. So they don't want to go sexless, guys. And this is why they fighting like hell for the abortion shit. So don't get caught up in the game, guys. Don't get caught up in the game. Remember, your sperm is more valuable than one of these used-ass niggas that's already running around here. Your sperm is more valuable than a simp nigga. Facts, bro. Me auntie, y'all. Me auntie. This is what our young girls is, is got. This is all they got. This is all they got. Now, this is my bonus technique, the grapefruit. Normally, you can only get this technique in one of my classes, but I wanted to share this with you because I believe every man should get grapefruited. When you grapefruit your man, it's going to... You see now, this represents the freak. Our sisters is breeders, yo. They they like sex, bro. Don't let them fool you. So that sexless shit, if they go sexless, it's just to control you. It's just to follow these white liberals, our white breads. But our wheat breads ain't fitting to go sexless. Look at auntie. Let's listen to auntie and let her, let's hear what she feel all of us men need to get feel as if you are giving him head and fucking him at the same time. No better feeling would he ever get than being grapefruited. So what you need to do is you need to, of course, have a grapefruit. You want to make sure you get the ruby red. The sweeter is easier. If you are allergic to grapefruit or can't use a grapefruit for your medication, you can always use a large navel orange. Now, what you want to do is make sure the, the, the grapefruit is room temperature. All you have to do is put it in warm water. Do not microwave it. Do not boil it. Then once it gets to that temperature, all you need to do is roll it. I should keep cutting the off, right, for you little freak hoes. Y'all like, why y'all keep, why you keep stopping her? Play it, play it, Mr. Goodbread. I want to hear what she got to say. I bet you do. But I ain't going to stop it no more. <laughs> the reason why you want to roll it is because you want to juice it up a little bit. The juicier, the better. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the navel. There's two navels to the grapefruit. Once you do that, you're going to place it on the plate and the navel's on the outside. You want to take a knife and you actually want to cut one side of that navel off. Now, all this that you're doing, he will not see any of this preparation because I'm going to tell you that a little bit later. It's a trick. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the other side and do the same thing. You hear this slick talking motherfucker? It's a trick. Like this, this is what motherfuckers do in their spare time, yo. You see, this is female nature live and direct. So don't don't have them digging in their cat litter fronting like they some old sweet, sweet and innocent lady. Let's sweet, sweet and innocent female, bro. They all freaks, bro. They all freaks, bro. So you should have a grapefruit that has two sides missing just like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put a hole in the middle of the grapefruit approximately the size of your man's penis. Do not make it too big. Do not make it too tight. Just approximate. Then what you want to do is you're going to take the knife midway down and make sure it goes all the way through. 
All you want to do is make a nice hole in the middle of the grapefruit. Now, if you take it and make it too big, that's okay because you can always squeeze your hands like the muscles of your vagina. And if you make it too tight, all you have to do is take your finger and push the flesh back. It's just grapefruit. Now, when you grapefruit your man, <laughs> do you hear this bitch? Though? <laughs> Do you guys hear this freak ho yo? Yo. Whoa. Whoa. Like wow, yo. Now 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 on another note, on a proper note, this is one hell of a way to please your man. You know what I mean? If she's just doing this to her man, if she's just doing this to her man, kudos. You know what I mean? Word up, word up. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead, sister. He has to be blindfolded. There's no ands, ifs, buts about it. Why? If you came to the bedroom with a grapefruit, what is your man going to say? What are you going to do with that? Is it going to burn and all that other thing? So you don't want any of that. So this is you what you motherfucking do. motherfucking right. Maybe, you know what? Tonight, I want to do something a little freakier. I want to suck your dick blindfolded. Your man will blindfold himself if he knows he's going to get some head. So now, your man is in the bed. Now, hold on. I don't think I'm fitting to blindfold anything with your mindset. You can't get me to you can't get me to close them. You can't get me to go to sleep, bitch. <laughs> I, I'm not closing my eye around you, <laughs> around your mindset. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. You can't even stay in my house while I go to the store. Nah, you got to die till I get back, shorty. Yes. You have the great food already prepared under the bed. He smelled the citrus in the air. He thinks you have on some new Victoria's Secrets or something. He has no idea. What you're going to do is be a woman of your word. Now, you have to get his penis erect. So what you're going to do is just suck his dick. That's like you said you were going to do. What the motherfucking... Once he's nice and erect, what you're going to do is replace the grapefruit from your mouth. You're going to twist up and down. They can't go sexless, y'all. The, uh, the, the black woman can't go sexless. Look at this shit. <laughs> what in the high oh shit is this? And this is not a young I mean, woman, remember, guys. Grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. Now, once you No, she did it, yo. <laughs> no, she did it. <laughs> Yo, oh, wow, she sold her story. They can't go sexless, guys. You, that's what I mean. Don't follow, don't follow them white liberals. Don't follow our white breads. Don't, don't worry about the sisters. They ain't going sexless. Doing this technique, it feels amazing to him, but he still has no idea what you're doing. So what you want to tell your man to do is this. Take the blindfold off. He's going to be looking at you like, what the hell are you doing? But he'll never say stop. All he's going to be thinking is, I could have been fucking a grapefruit all these years. And that's the grapefruit technique. Well, I be goddamn, yo. I be goddamn. Back to you, my girl, Candace. Uh, people have been announcing a sex strike, which is interesting to me. Suddenly, people are saying we're going to withhold sex as a response to Roe v. Wade being reversed. Women, spelled with an X by this Twitter user, calling for a national hashtag sex strike. No sex with men until women's rights are codified by law. Of course, you know that the majority of these women, you take a look at them, I thought they were already on a sex strike. I'm going to guess that not too many men are looking to sleep with them. This woman who's holding a sign, this woman who looks absolutely disgusting and I, for whatever reason, <laughs> nether regions uh, red. Uh, by the way, to these people, if you're calling for abstinence, this is kind of what the Catholic Church and Christians and conservatives are going to get behind. It's okay to be abstinent if you're saying you're no longer going to have sex because you're not responsible enough to have sex and you don't want a child. No one's going to fight you on this. So, You big dummy. You big dummy. See, See how y'all always trap yourself into stupidity? Like somebody going to fight you because you're not having sex. That's what you need to do. You need to close your goddamn legs, miseducated, but always getting tricked into not knowing who a baby daddy is. Come on now, guys. How dumb is you? How dumb is you? I, I told y'all y'all fighting for nothing. Fighting for the fighting for a right that God gives y'all any your way. The fuck is you talking about? Oh, that must be the dumbest take on the internet. But wait, because we have Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer.
as you guys know, is Chuck Schumer's niece. And she has never met a picket sign that she didn't like. It doesn't matter what it says. She's just like, are we out? Are we out boycotting something? Great. I'm here. I'm here. It's me. It's Amy Schumer. Sadly, she just had a baby, but that hasn't stopped her um, from being extremely angry that about 890,000 more babies are going to live per year. And she put this on her Instagram stories. She wrote, late-term abortions via school shootings are still available. What? I'm sorry. Late-term abortions via school shootings are still available. Now, if any conservative had put that on their page, their page would have been absolutely wiped from the internet. They would have been told that they were causing for violence. I don't know if she's trying to be funny. She's clinically unfunny. I don't know how she even has the roles that she has in movies, probably because Uncle Chuck gave it to her. But she's literally just somehow trying to correlate this to gun violence and saying, well, it's okay. If you're an older kid, you can still die by a gun in a school shooting. And somehow this is allowed to be on Instagram and has not been taken off. So you're a despicable human being, Amy. But I think my favorite of all of the bad takes that were on the internet this week, it has to be the companies that have issued statements saying that they're going to donate to abortion travel. So I mean, I'm, I'm just going to list you some, name some of these companies. We've got Disney, Netflix, Amazon, Paramount. They're going to reimburse for travel expenses for employees. Dick's Sporting Goods has given an exact amount. They said they will reimburse employees up to $4,000 in travel expenses. It's a lot of money. I have to imagine that that's months of work. If you're a low-level employee at Dick's Sporting Goods and and you're making an hourly salary, I mean, that's got to be an hourly wage, pardon. That's got to be a lot of money, up to $4,000 in travel expenses. I love this. Hold on, Candace. So you mean to tell me these niggas are paid for a kid to get killed, but they won't pay the fucking worker a raise more than 12 cents? Because you see the raises they get these fucking people that, that bust they ask for them. These people go all year round thinking they're going to get something, and they get them niggas a quarter, 17 cent. And they're, they, they're going to back. the. See, that's how you know. That's the system. That's the enemy. That's the enemy right there, guys. Take notes, guys. Take notes. This. I'm telling you why I love this. Because people are smart, and they're going to use this absurd corporate policy, and they're going to scam them. They are going to scam these corporations. I mean, how is this going to work? You're going to ask a woman. Obviously, you're not going to be asking for an ultrasound picture. So what, you're going to ask them to prove that they're pregnant by giving you a sample of urine? Or how is this going to work? You're just going to trust them? It's going to be a trust system? You're going to incentivize bad behavior like the welfare system? You know, my husband always tells me the story um, of uh, the British Empire when they had control over India and they sent some government officials to live there and the government officials just could not deal with the amount of snakes that were there. Just too many snakes in India. And so they went to the locals and they said, for every, for every snake that you kill, we'll give you, and I'm making up a number here, but we'll give you one ruby, right? So the locals would c- come the next day and they would dump the snakes and they'd say, okay, here you go. Uh, it's 10 snakes, so you owe me 10 rubies. And the government would pay out 10 rubies and, okay, great, 10 snakes are dead. And the next day they'd come back with a bucket and there'd be 20 snakes. And they'd say, oh, oh, okay, I guess 20 rubies, here you go. Eventually, they figured out, this is a true story, guys, that the locals started snake farms because the government said, we're going to pay you for every snake that you kill. So the locals don't care about the snakes. Of course, the locals just said, I'm going to produce all of these snakes and the government's going to pay you. That's literally how the welfare system works to incentivize bad behavior. And with these corporations, obviously, you're going to have a bunch of women that say $4,000 is a lot of money. You just want me, you're going to reimburse up to $4,000. Okay. Um, I gotta, I'm going to get time off and $4,000. I'm going to find a fake pregnancy test, pretend to be pregnant and get you idiots to pay me. And I hope that you idiots actually pay out. I hope corp- you see, and that's how, that's how they always get. They always leave the wiggle room. They know these slick motherfuckers that don't want to do what God said, which is work for a living. They're always looking for the quick come up. They know they're going to rock out. And who going to pay for that shit in the end, guys? Who going? Who you think going to pay for that? Yes, who? Y'all put in the comment section, who going to pay for this slick-ass scheme that they backdoored, acting like they don't know that they, you know what I mean? Come on, guys. This is how they always set us up. And people be thinking that they taking advantage and they getting taken advantage of. Corporations realize, like, how stupid implementing this sort of a policy is 
when there can be absolutely no checks and balances in place because you're so woke, right? So what are you going to say to a woman if she pops up pregnant five times a year? $4,000. That's a $20,000 bonus for her if she keeps producing fake receipts and just, oh, look, I just, this is a picture that says I'm positive. So I'm, go- I'm going to need to get that abortion. These corporations are idiots. And I hope that they quite literally are made to pay for it. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you liked this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. Anytime, Candace, you already know. Anytime you want to pull up, pull up, you know what I mean? And that was a great argument you did. We, we, we killed that. We obliterated that argument, that victim mindset joint, man. Salute to you. And we're going to keep doing our damn thing. We're going to keep our foot on their neck because we pro-man over here. We pro-masculinity and we pro-patriarch. You know what I mean? Get that matriarch shit out of here. Anybody capping and, and crab-legging for that matriarch, Y'all can just unsub. You got a problem with Candace, you gonna have a problem with me. You're not, you're gonna, not gonna like me. And that's just what it is, guys. Two videos gonna pop up right now. You can click with either or. And I'll make sure I put that Candace Owens playlist on your right. And on the left will be yesterday's video. You can click either one so you can continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense. Strap up, wrap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life, guys. Hashtag the righteous fit.